Hello. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at creating portal trusses within Vertex BD. This is a more advanced guide and assumes you already are well versed with the basics of using Vertex BD software. Firstly, within the modeling window, we right click and select to add a gable roof. We select our points for this as shown, constraining them to the X and Y axis and using set distances between each point as shown. Next, the roof parameters window will be displayed. Within here, we make sure our pitch is set to 10A and our eave height is set to 7000. Once we are happy with our selections, we hit enter to confirm and our gable roof is set within the modeling window. Next, we right click our gable roof and select trusses, which opens the truss parameter window. Within here, we make sure our spacing is set to 4000 and we then select the OK button to confirm we are happy with our parameters. We then select both eaves of our structure as shown and then right click and select define limiting plane. We leave the plate height set to zero, select OK and then we select opposing corners of our structure and then select OK to confirm the limiting plane. We then select from the center of each opposing side of the structure and again choose OK. Once we have done so, our trusses will then be added to the structure. Next, we select all our trusses by selecting one and then double clicking to select all of them together. We then cut these via the right click contextual menu. We then select the center point of the left side of our structure and constrain down the middle to the opposing side where we then select the grip point here as shown. We then go to the truss section of the modeling tab and from within here we select the portal truss option. Once selected the portal truss window will be displayed and within here we can amend the bays above option to 6 and the bays side option to 6 as well. Once done we select OK. With our truss option set we are then ready to action the software to convert our truss structure we previously set up into our portal trusses. To action this, we select our truss structure and press the OK button, which then begins the process of Vertex calculating and creating our portal trusses. Vertex will work through this process and once completed, your implemented portal trusses will then be active within your modeling window as shown here within the framing view. From here, you can customize your portal trusses further to include further bracing, etc. if required for your project. For example, here we're going to add extra bracing at the center join of our portal truss to further connect both sides of our truss and improve bracing here. To do this, we select both sides of our portal trusses and select Edit Parts. Vertex will then open the model for our portal truss where we can begin adding our extra bracing. We right click, select profile, and then within the piece properties window, we select the pick option from the bottom left corner. This allows us to then select the same piece as is used in creating our portal truss structure to then use to create our bracing. With that selected, we then can add a new piece to our portal truss by selecting our left section of our portal truss as shown and using the locating point to center it before selecting then the right section of our portal truss to add in the piece. We then have to connect the new piece to our portal truss via the join section of the modeling tab. Within here, we select the notch join option and join the new piece to the portal truss by first selecting the required side of the portal truss and then the side of the piece we wish to join is shown. Vertex will open the joint options and within here we make sure to select the chamfered end option. Once we have done that to both sides of our new bracing piece, it is then successfully joined to our portal truss and now part of the portal truss structure. We can then replicate this extra bracing piece to the remaining of our other portal trusses which make up the structure by simply copying and pasting the newly created piece from within the modeling window as shown by copying our piece, constraining each new piece via the x-axis 
and pasting the piece into the remaining part of the trusses. Once that is completed, we select all our portal truss structure, right click and select to generate truss drawings. We select the truss A3 option as shown and then select OK to generate these. Once we have completed this, our portal trusses and our added bracing are complete and our drawings for these are created and ready to amend with whatever desired labels we require for our project. Thank you for watching this video guide on how to create portal trusses within Vertex BD. Stay tuned for more helpful guides coming soon.